I'm Steve, welcome to my workshop and to Ferry Wood Stuff. This project is going to be a furniture project uh, for a change and uh, we're going to build a uh, live edge waterfall coffee table. Never done one before, uh, I've seen a few examples. We're uh, going to give it a go. Uh, rough plan, uh, one live edge. Uh, it's a uh, some bow ties and I've just got the uh, the piece of wood for it, so we'll go and have a look. So here we have it, it's uh, a piece of ash, got a few twists in it, uh, so we're going to need to uh, flatten it, and obviously we're going to need to we'll cut it down to size. There's a crack here, which we're going to have to keep in, and that's where we're going to put some bow ties. Uh, a few knot holes, we're going to need to do a bit of filling, a few little defects. It's generally quarter sawn piece of ash. But it's, I can see it's got a hell of a twist on it, so I'm going to have to cut it down to take some of that twist away. It's about an uh, inch and a quarter or 30 milli thick. A piece of ash is lifted up on a few pieces of plywood, uh, and then I've just used wedges around to level up best I can. Now we're just going to track that slice off it. Well, I need to take this bark off this edge, uh, and the tool for it would be this uh, this draw knife, which uh, is part of the, the old tool set that was given to me. Uh, but it's only got one handle, and it's in need of uh, some repair. New handle and uh, refurbish goes out. So uh, before we carry on with this. We're going to fix the straw knife up. these defects I'm going to uh, fill them with the epoxy so this is going to be the underside uh, I'm just going to seal it off uh, with some parcel tape and masking tape to make sure that the uh, I'm going to pour the epoxy through it doesn't go all over the place
just need a bit more epoxy in the crack. It's the whole uh, board is sort of twisted, you can see there. I'm just wondering whether or not I was actually going to uh, balance it out with some wedges and then use the router sled to, to flatten it, but. Uh, not quite sure what it'll look like. It's touching down there, but it's got a big ball in there. It's got a twist from there to there. Now you can see it's wedged up. The worst is here, so it's twisted. That gap is 10 milli. It's, uh, it's bald, bald it actually dips towards the edge, so it's in the middle it'll be really thin. So we'll split it down the middle. Uh, flatten both boards and join them back together. Less than ideal. But I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Well, I'm not sure this is going to turn out right. I just had to uh, take quite a lot off to get them uh, sort of flat. Probably the board was too twisted to start off with. It's just ended up, uh, you see now, about 17 millimeters or so. The joint should be okay. I think it's uh, you squeeze it together. It's got like a, quite a nice. Uh, Grain match, so that's all right. A bit of a disaster, really, to straighten these boards. I've had to take about 10 milli off, so I'm not sure if it's going to work. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll join them together and uh, see how we get along. <laughs> 